Kate, settle down, fam. Let's go through the plot of Romeo and Juliet with some straight up Gen Z vibes. No, trust, bruh, this story slaps. So there's this guy called Romeo who is giving main character energy and he'd be simping hard for this girl called Rosaline, but she's just leaving him on red, like totally ghosting him. Feeling hella rejected, man's down bad, all stuck in his feels. His boys, Benvolio and Mercutio, are like, bruh. That gal Cray, forget her and come and crash this Capulet party with us. We need to vibe with new people. Romeo rolls up at the party uninvited and spots Juliet and he's like, yo, that's wifey. Who's that absolute baddie? And Juliet's like, mm, absolute snack. Daniel, what does Juliet think Romeo is? An absolute snack, yes, very good. It's giving love at first sight. But here's the tea, Romeo is a Montague and Juliet is a Capulet and their families be like beefing hard, like beefing hard, literally throwing shade at each other 24 seven. But they're just like IDGAF and meet up for a late night simp sesh. They sneak around and make plans and get hitched on the low, major red flag, sus vibes. But then Romeo's boy Mercutio gets into it with Juliet's cousin Tybalt who got like toxic mad Riz, always on 100. A fight pops off and Mercutio gets iced and it's giving cry emoji. Romeo sees this and he's like nafam and claps back. They throw hands and Romeo just yeets Tybalt out of existence. He slayed Tybalt. Romeo left no crumbs. Romeo gets cancelled, it's giving banished, and Juliet is low-key shook because their plan to dip together has gone sideways. Juliet goes to see Friar Lawrence who is giving fake death potion. And Juliet, who's usually very demure, very mindful, agrees to risk it all and pretend to be hella clapped. Romeo thinks that the death is straight up legit and like pulls up to his gal's tomb and just downs some poison and dies, for real. It's giving, bruh, just check your messages. Juliet wakes up and she's just like, oh, bruh, seriously, this ain't it. And she yeets herself too. Moral of the story is miscommunication can get you straight up wrecked. And if man's making some sneaky moves, make sure all your homies know.